Today we're checking out the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Figure Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and let's get into it. Hey, what is going on guys? Today I have a super special video for you guys. So today, we're checking out my Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII figure collection. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like it. This is pretty much every single Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII figure out there. As always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to check out this video. If you guys want to see more Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII videos, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a suggestion in the comments below for what video you guys want to see next. And so my question for this video, who's your top 3 favorite Final Fantasy VII characters? Let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So let's take a look at what we have here. So um, yeah, I've been collecting these figures for many, many years now. And I do have a review of every single figure here. So if you guys want to check it out, then uh, feel free to. They will be on my channel. So yeah, here we have all the back of the boxes for all the figures. So if you guys want to take a closer look, then just feel free to pause the video. Very, very awesome boxes, I must say. They're super nicely designed. And down here we have Fenrir and Daytona. Alright guys, and so here are all the figures of the packaging and fully assembled. So first up, we have the Cloud Strife and Fenrir. And right here, we have the first release of Cloud Strife. Next up, we have the Dirge of Cerberus, Vincent Valentine, and here we have Rufus Shinra. Next up, we have the Crisis Core Aerith, and back here we have Sid, and we have the first release of Barret. Here we have the uh, one-winged angel himself, we have Sephiroth, and here we have the remake, Barret. Next up, we have the Crisis Core Zack Fair, and here we have the Advent Children, Tifa Lockhart. Uh, back here we have the first release of Vincent Valentine and we have Yuffie and back here we have the first release of Cloud Strife from the remake. Next up we have Cloud Strife and the Hardy Daytona from the first class edition of the game. We have Red 13 and Cat Sith. So yeah guys, there's an overview of all the figures. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Stay tuned guys. Okay, and so first up, let's take a look at the AC, Cloud Strife, and Fenrir. I uh, really don't know which one I like better, the Fenrir or the uh, Daytona, but uh, I think I like the fact that uh, Fenrir has lights. I think that's an awesome feature on this bike. But anyhow, let's take a look at the details. So yeah, here's a look at the uh, front bumper piece of the bike. I mean, just every bit of detail is so crisp and clean. I've never seen detailing quite like this on any other player's Sky figure out there. They've just done such an amazing job on this piece. As you can see right now, I've got these holsters, like all these sword holsters to hold all these blades. It looks super cool. And of course the bike is uh, really shiny. It gives off a nice reflection in the lights. It makes it look very high quality. And so here's a look at the figure itself. So this figure was released back in 2019. So this is the newest Advent Children Cloud Strife that we currently have. And the version in the back here is uh, the original Cloud Strife from 2015. But uh, yeah, here's a look at this uh, Cloud Strife. Such a nice piece. I uh, love the head sculpts with the uh, goggles. And here I've got him holding these blades. I don't usually display the figure with any of these blades, so I thought for this video I would uh, change it up a bit and display them with these different swords. 
and I think they look awesome. There is a look at the 2019 Cloud Strife and Fenrir. Next up, let's take a look at Red 14. This is such a nice figure, I mean, I absolutely love this piece. Uh, this figure has become super rare, I mean, it's really hard to find now, so I, I feel pretty lucky that I, I picked these figures up when they were just released. But anyhow, here's a look at the figure, I mean, it's just so nicely detailed, all these fur details, like all the uh, texturing. And here's a look at Cat Sith, which comes with the, uh, I think it was the Sid, yeah, he came with Sid. So um, yeah, there's a look at Cat Sith. And so here's a close-up on the face. I just love that face sculpt. A pretty cool feature on this figure is the fact that his eye can move. I really don't know why they don't include this with more figures, but um, yeah, that's a super cool feature on this piece, which I really love. That was a look at Red 13. And so next up here, let's take a look at the Hardy Daytona from the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which comes with the first class edition of the game. I just love this bike, it's so nicely done. I mean, just look at all these details. I especially love the uh, detailing down here at the uh, engine piece. Just every bit of detail is sculpted in there, like all those nuts and bolts. And here's a look at the back of the engine piece. So yeah, there's a look at the uh, Hardy Daytona, and here's a look at Cloud Strife, which is uh, pretty much the same figure as the original remake Cloud from 2017. Although it does have an updated paint job, but it's very subtle. For the most part, they're pretty much the same figure. So yeah, that was a look at the Cloud Strife and Hardy Daytona, which came out in 2020. Moving back here to the front, we have the first release of Cloud Strife from 2015. This is probably one of my favorite figures. Out of all these Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII figures. And next up here, we have the uh, Dirge of Cerberus, Vincent Valentine. It's so much better compared to the uh, first release of Vincent's. I mean, it's still a pretty nice figure, but this one is just so much better in every way possible. So yeah, I would highly recommend picking up this figure if you can only pick up one. The sculpting is so crisp and clean, and I love the paint jobs. So yeah, there's a look at the Dirge of Cerberus, Vincent Valentine. Next up here, we have Rufus Shinra. Uh, this is like one of my newest Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII figures. Um, I never picked up Rufus and the uh, first release of Barrett. Those were two figures which I was missing in this collection. But uh, yeah, I managed to pick them up and um, yeah, I think now my collection is pretty much complete. He's actually a pretty nice figure. I mean, I really don't know why I didn't pick this figure up in the first place. I mean, he doesn't have the best articulation. And he's not as detailed as uh, some of the other figures, but he is a pretty nice piece. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to have him. And so next up here, we have the Crisis Core Aerith. And I love the color scheme, it's much different compared to how she looks in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. But yeah, she's got a nice head sculpt. I'm really looking forward to the new Aerith figure, which they're gonna be making soon. Uh, I mean, the new figure looks way better. This is Tifa Lockhart. I mean, this is my all time favorite design of Tifa. I just love the design of all the characters from Final Fantasy Advent Children. They're probably my favorite designs of all the characters, but uh, especially Tifa, it's just such an awesome design. I do like her design in the uh, new remake, but uh, for me personally, I just this has just always been my favorite design, I really don't know why. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below which design you guys like the best, the original, the remake, or Advent Children. Let me know in the comments below which designs you guys like best of all the characters. I mean, it's not the greatest head sculpt out there, and she doesn't really have a good resemblance to how she looks in the film, but nonetheless, I just love this figure so much. I think the new head sculpt for the new remake Tifa figure looks much, much better. I mean, it's a pretty flawless head sculpt, so uh, I really can't wait for that figure later on this year. But um, yeah, nonetheless, here's a look at the first release of Tifa. We have Yuffie Kisaregi. This was like the very first Player's Kai Final Fantasy VII figure which I ever picked up, so uh, I've got a special place in my heart for uh, Yuffie. It's such a nice figure. Without this figure, I probably wouldn't have collected all these other figures, so um, yeah, I really do have Yuffie to thank for being my first Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy figure. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. I still love this figure so much. I mean, I would love a remake of Yuffie, but I think the figure is pretty spot on the way she is. 
I mean, she's definitely the smallest figure out of the group. I mean, look how small she is compared to Tifa. So I'm really not sure if it's out of scale, but uh, yeah, she's pretty short. I just love the sculpting in her face, and uh, I love how they painted the eyes. It's a very deep hazel color, and uh, as you can see here, she's holding a bunch of this uh, materia, and she has uh, the little pink band around her arm. And of course, she has a shuriken. Next up, we have the first release of Vincent Valentine. And so as I mentioned before, I think the Dirge of Cerberus, Vincent Valentine, is a much better figure compared to this first release. But I mean, don't get me wrong, it is still a pretty nice figure, but um, it's just much more outdated and um, yeah, the sculpting isn't as good. And so here we have the Crisis Core Sack Fair. I know a lot of people don't like this figure, which I really don't understand why. If you're one of the few who don't like this figure, then please do let me know in the comments below why you don't like it. And uh, here's a look at his hand holding the uh, very iconic Buster Sword. I just love this figure so much. So yeah, that's a look at Sack Fair. Next up, we have Sid. So this is probably one of my least favorite figures. But uh, once again, I am still pretty happy to have it. And uh, if you guys want Cat Sith, then you have to buy Sid. That's the only way you can get Cat Sith. We have the first release of Barrett. So as I mentioned before, I was initially missing out on Barrett and Rufus. I just missed out on these figures. I've got to say, Barrett is such a nice figure. I was so surprised at uh, how much I like this figure. It's a super large piece. It's probably like one of the biggest figures of the entire collection. And um, yeah, it's super nicely detailed and nicely painted. I just love this figure so much. I love this here like minigun. Even the uh, tattoo on his arm is uh, pretty nicely done. So yeah, there is a look at the first release of Barrett. And next up here, let's move on straight to the uh, remake Barrett. And uh, I love the fact that his sunglasses are removable. I thought that was a really cool feature. And here's a look at the minigun on his hand. And they're also going to be making another Barrett, which is going to come out later on in the year, in 2020. So here is the one-winged angel we have Sephiroth. I mean, the fact that the figure comes with the one wing is such an awesome accessory. I'm just so happy that they included this. It really makes the figure for me. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite figures out of my entire collection. And uh, yeah, once again, they are making a remake Sephiroth, which is gonna come out in 2021. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a while. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I'm super happy with this figure. But uh, yeah, anyhow, there's a look at my entire collection of Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII figures so let me know what figures you guys have in your collection and which one is your favorites. I mean, every single figure is just so nicely done and you will really be happy with any figure. But I mean, you guys gotta pick up the Fenrir. I mean, I would say right now, this is probably my favorite Player's Kai Final Fantasy VII figure. It's just insanely badass and so nicely detailed. I just, oh, I just love this figure so much. But uh, yeah, honestly guys, you will really be happy with any figure you pick up. So I would really recommend just trying to pick them all up. You really will not be disappointed and it will be well worth the investment. If you guys want to see more Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy 7 videos, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a suggestion in the comments below for what video you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Alright, take it easy guys.